Now, if you don't know, the Scratch trending page is the section of the website where projects that are currently popular gets displayed. You can get to this page by going to the home page and by clicking explore, and you can see all the sections of the trending page, including animations, art, games, etc. People mainly use this page when they don't know what projects to view, so they see whatever is currently popular. So how do you get on this page? What do you do to make your project appear here? Well, the exact algorithm isn't publicly available, but I figured out some patterns that I think is really helpful towards that. So here are a few things that you can do. So the main one, and probably the most obvious one, is that you need to make your project popular. So first of all, you need to have a project that receives a good amount of views. And from my experience, having about a thousand views in the first 24 hours is a really good sign. And you will also need a nice love favorites and remixes to views ratio, and something greater than about 1 love out of 10 views would be a really nice start. But how do you get to that if you're someone that doesn't really have a lot of followers to begin with? So first of all, although it's not very necessary, it would be a good idea to include hashtags, both in the project description and in the title. This will allow your project to show up more when people search for terms such as games, platformers, animations. However, if you use tags in an annoying way, such as spamming every category possible on there, even though it's not related at all, or using hashtag all, which by the way, completely doesn't work, people aren't gonna like it. And if tags are not used correctly, it might just work against you. And secondly, you can add your projects to as many related studios as possible to reach more people. In the same explore section, you can select studios instead of projects and find popular studios in these categories. But make sure that you put your project in studios that's actually related to your topic instead of spamming it to as much as you can. Some studios only allows you to add projects if you're a member, but you can always ask them to include a project in the comments. Now, while you're here, let me talk about some controversial and possibly rumored stuff around the Scratch algorithm. So first, it's about the hashtag, hashtag all. Now, the all section is a section on the trending page, but that just includes every single project. When you use the hashtag all, it doesn't really put your project into a category or give it any better advantage compared to others. It's just a pure myth. Now, the second is called search band. And yes, it actually definitely exists. So getting search band is either have something in your project that's somewhat unallowed in the Scratch website. So they make a project still publicly available, but have it banned from the search. The last thing is the sharing and unsharing glitch. There was a popular rumor going on where if you share and unshare and reshare your project, they have a chance of getting onto the very top of a trending page. This glitch has existed in the past, but however, I think recently it's either fixed or people just stop doing that anymore. Even if you are able to succeed at this glitch and get your project up there, it's not gonna get very welcome. People are gonna know you unshared and reshared. They can see how many less views there are, even though it's at the very tippity top. So either way, there's gonna be more backlash than benefits, and it's not the most ethical thing to do. Now, before you go, I just want to say that the trending page doesn't always represent how good a project actually is. There are many really excellent projects who unfortunately doesn't have enough people doing them, and there are mediocre ones that just got locked with the algorithm. Getting on the trending page is great news, but remember that the point of making projects is that you can have fun and learn something in the meantime. And that's what it's really about.